Hey everybody, welcome to the Golf King stream. Hey, where the hell is Stefan? When I hit start, I thought Stefan was gonna be right there. What the hell? What? Oh my god, that's so crazy. Stefan! Oh, no. <laughs> Here's a Joe. Thank you, bud, son. Anonymous, thanks for the gift sub to God. How do you say this when you have the X in the middle of like a collaboration? Do you say X? You don't say times, obviously. You say with? I don't know. Reomit. Thank you for the compliment on my nice ball cap here. Um, thank you, Holiday Torment. Welcome back and how intense our friend Mitch. 40 months. And it sounds like we got the remix. Thank you, Reomit. We got the dad cap. Yeah, we got it. We got the dad cap. Uh, birthday gift from my youngest. Came in just a couple days late. It's okay, not her fault. She is not in charge of the UPS delivery schedule. Loon night. Welcome back to four months. And thank you everybody for backing up these pizzas. I'll even give you one to look at while we wait. Or was it a Joey? Is Joey 201? I don't remember if Joey's 201 or if the pizza's 201. I was showing my kid, um, I was showing my kid the pizzas, and so she's looked on the, she looked on the little, uh, my little stream deck here. Here we go. Here's the guy. Hi everyone. What was the going on? Thirty nine months. Welcome back. What was the result? No, no, it's not. It's not there. Yeah. Okay. So maybe the, the package would be there. It's not there. Yeah. It's okay. It's That's okay. Um, it's okay. It happens, you know? It's okay. So as I was saying, before I was interrupted, um, yep. I was showing my kid the little stream deck here. She was playing with the microphone and doing the voice changing, all this stuff. And then she okay. saw the little pizza down here because I have it. I know this doesn't make sense if you haven't seen a stream deck. Right. It's a little plastic box. It has an LED behind it. It's broken up into little buttons that I push and stuff happens. I push this, the dab comes up, and there's a picture of me dabbing on the button as well. So... Okay. There's a picture yeah. of a nasty pizza on the pizza button. Um, and she saw the pizza and said, "That's that looks bad. Did you eat that pizza? And I said, no, baby, I did not eat that pizza. And then I showed her like a you dozen. Showing your, you can't be showing your kids the Australian Domino's. I showed her like 12 of these in a row. And every one of them, she was oh. like, hmm, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, come on. That looks serious? good. No. That looks good. Yes. And I was like, what are you talking about? I, you said it was gross. I was so proud of you. You said it was gross over here. And then you go, they go up there and it's, you know, I don't know. Brutal. That's awful. So. What's your favorite Frank D'Angelo movie? 
<laughs> they have not even, I don't even think they have walked in on me. Watch. That's something I do in such a shameful way. How no would one's... you explain that? How would you explain that to like a, a nine-year-old? There right? really was how a time. You, how, how would you be like, oh, I'm, this is bad, but I'm watching it on purpose. You I... can't explain that to a kid, I don't think, right? No, because like one time my wife and I had like watched a movie and so we were done with each other for the night, right? It was like, we wa we already watched our movie, goodbye, yeah. you know? <laughs> so there's yeah. nothing else to do. So I think I was sitting there and she was like doing something, I don't know, work? Who knows what she does back there? And then I was yeah. watching, I had the, I had control the TV. I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up um, the red maple leaf or I'm gonna pick up the joke thief or whatever where I left off. And I made it about five minutes with her, knowing she was behind me, being able to see what I was doing and the shame yeah. of it and not being able to explain yeah. to her why I was watching it. And she wasn't even paying, she was like listening to an audio book and had no care for what I was doing at all. But I could not take the pressure of her watching me watch. She could, oh, look at the cut on this. The fact that she could look over, no, and, and you know I'm not. The fact that she could look over at any moment and see he's watching. Yeah. The last big save. Oh, no. I'm trying to fix my. Uh, my Just crushing. Thank you, everybody. Joey going crazy. I've Lord also Dark I've got another one of my little presents thing? down here. So let me show um, this off. This is a. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what's going on with my camera. My shit's all fucked up. I, I mean, maybe I have to reset my fucking computer. Look at this. Lord Darkside, what it do, man? We got a we got a little uh, we got a little foot warmer here. We got a little foot warmer. Oh, we got. Oh, look at him I, I going. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Dan is in the chat. Um, but if Dan is in the chat, we should get him on the call because he got he got you a, he got you a gift. He got you a cameo. Now that's very exciting. And it's really long. It's really long. It's extremely long. Wow. It's really really long. That's right, something to look for. It's really to. good. Uh, it's very stupid. I'm gonna reset my computer because my shit's all fucked up. All but, right. Well, uh, I'll just hang out. And then. And then I'll, I'll message uh, I'll message Dan. Doctor Beeper, welcome back. Forty months. Oh my God, is that true, Cosmic Cat? Yeah, holy shit. Lord Darkside, what it do, man? Yeah, you got to reset. You're going crazy over there. Abdomen, man, welcome back. Fifty-one months. My goodness. And Dwubo, thirty-seven months. Welcome back. Yeah, Dakota Redux. That would be devastating. Dakota Redux, did you change the capitalization of your username? Because now it looks like a. It looks different. Thank you, Cash. And welcome back, Hat Bauer. Six months. Uh, there's one thing I can enjoy. Oh, God. I think right there he starts talking about the hood. I think that's the line that comes up next there. Um, really bad. Really, really bad. And we did that in a bunch of more parody songs uh, today. We recorded that today for um, this Friday's YKS Premium. A deep dive. I think people like deep dives on podcasts. We did a deep dive on parody songs. No, we really didn't. But we just... Um, but we did talk about them and listen to some of them. Um. <laughs> gotcha, that's really good. Let's see, let's put this on him. There you go. There you go. Look at him. Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute? That's right, posting creating we do. Ain't that cute? Oh, no, it's gonna need to go right there. Uh, no, it's gonna go right there. There we go. Uh, thank you, Gacho. Um, yeah, Ali, uh, Spag I can't think of it as Spag Spagnol, Mel, or something like that, yeah. Anyway, uh, terrific stuff. Jamie Wonders, welcome back, eight months. The, um, boy, a lot of the, yes, a lot of the COVID parody songs are still up. I don't want to spoil any of the ones that we directly watch, because it is part of a real or fake for this Friday. So I don't want to say exactly what was going on with them. But yeah, there's some COVID stuff. There's some COVID, COVID parody songs. I mean, the Randy Rainbow thing still being up is so fucking crazy. I mean, that's just unconscionable. Shoo, I did. I did see that. The Holderness has, they may make an appearance on Friday. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Um, old Pit Warbler, why isn't that? Th why isn't it coming up there? I mean, I guess you don't know. It ought to. It ought to come up though. Let's give it a second. No. <laughs> yeah, so test. Um, why didn't it go? That's so strange. Wow. I feel like every single time it just backed up, but no, it's um it's just not happening. I'll pull it up. Um, real or fake inspired by a horseweed mind's eye from uh yeah dude. I've so I've I know what uh yeah dude is, but I've not listened to it. I think oh, that's a good one there in his kitchen. A knife balancing on the open jar of peanut butter. I've um. I've never, I've never, I've never heard. Uh, yeah, dude. I think, man, yeah, maybe Mike showed me a video of it one time. But no, that's not where it came from. Real or fake came from the idea that sometimes things sound like they might be real when in fact they're fake, and and actually sound like they're fake when they might be real. Um, because that's basically the only thing I can even think of. Um. Hey, thanks for. Goose Zero, time. welcome back. Twenty six months. Oh, thank you, Chip Destroyer. I was, th you know what, I was thinking about Evan Susser today because I was listening to the, uh, I was listening to that uh, their sort of serial parody they did on the Doughboys. That was that was pretty funny. That was good. Um, is that an egg salad sandwich inside a hot dog bun? Not sure what that is. Gross. Very bad. Very very bad there. But um, yeah, that was that was cute. That was cute with it. Hey, thank you, Rayo. Oh, damn it! Now I gotta. Now it's now we're gonna be backed up again. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. I'm going over here. I'm going over here right now. I'd love to go back on episode one. I don't know how they. Uh, well, I like those guys a lot. I don't know how they do new ideas every week. It's fucking insane. Are you kidding me? All right. I'm back. I've not had... It, it, looks, it, it looks better. Excuse me, Stefan. I'm trying to answer a question about whether I've had a cereal in the chat. What kind of cereal? Peanut butter and chocolate Cheerios. I have not had those. I've seen those. They look very good. I was just in the cereal aisle today. What were you getting? Oh, my kids got Thank some you, bullshit. I made the mistake of taking my kids to the store, so... You can, I mean. Well, I mean, okay, I, I, I'm not, obviously I'm not a father, but I feel like you're taking kids to the store, one of the aisles you should stay away from is the cereal aisle. Yeah, pretty dangerous over there. Um, one thing... Ten months, welcome back, and not so, not so sequitur. One, That's cute. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, um, Walking room says Stephen's like only taking the kids from like, the store. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Half the cereal is just like it's. Uh, I mean, not to sound like my dad, but it is candy, right? Most of the cereal. It is. Yeah, it is. We would get. We would go. Uh, we go camping every summer, and my mom would take us to the grocery store to do like a big shop before we went camping, right? Yeah. And she she would let us buy. That's the, that's when we could get like the the candy cereal. Yeah. So we would always get, I think it, it was always Reese's Puffs. Reese's uh, Puffs is in and, the house here, yes. And and Cinnamon Toast Crunch was the other one as well. I mean, it's such a good, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. I think uh, my... Well, you, didn't, you haven't had the, ma you guys haven't had Magic Spoon on, uh, on YKS yet for your ads? No. You guys gotta get them because that they sent us a bunch of their shit and it's really good. I want to get I want to get the magic spoon ad. I want to get the fucking um. I tell you the other ad I want is I want one of the mattress ads because I think I've had my mattress for like six or seven years at this point and I know that yeah. I know that get rid of it every eight years is just a marketing thing for mattress companies. But I would like to see what's out there mattress wise. And hey, maybe they're maybe they're right. Maybe this is the one marketing thing that's not like a lie. Maybe they're what if they're telling the truth? <laughs> what if this one's real? Yeah, what right. If this one is true. Yeah. I Marshall know. Lawrence, thank you for the gifts up to basketball season. Welcome. <laughs> um, the the magic spoon, uh, I think the best the fruit loops, the magic spoon fruit loops were incredible. They were so good. Those are my favorite. Yeah. Um, they, they sent us they sent us most of the flavors, I think. Yeah, I, I hear all the time about their new flavors. 
It's really good. It's okay. I, I mean, I don't know if you, if you know, I don't deal with all the admin stuff on Block Party, obviously. Right. Um, but uh, it's. I, can you just like reach out to them and be like, hey, you guys want to advertise on our shit and just send us some free cereal? Could I do that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Could you? I I could. You do, should. I could do that. You fucking should, cause it's good. It's like, I, look, I'm advertising for them right now, and they they stop paying us. Doctor Remulak, welcome back. 18 months. Can I can I can I be honest with you? Yeah. This is the honest truth. Hey, the return on investment of me sitting down and writing 40 emails to hey, podcast advertising Fair companies enough. is not yeah. good enough for me to do it. That's oh. it's just not. Right. But you'll get the cereal out of it. Too. They'll, they'll pay you, and you will get hey, the cereal. I am not. I mean, I'm, what is it like? Eight dollars a box or something? Seriously? Uh, not with discount code. I forget what our discount code was, but uh, we did have one. I think Brothers Haver. I am watching hockey again uh, now that Jim Banning has been fired, and it's great. Except uh, now everyone in the NHL has COVID, so they're probably gonna shut everything NBA down. NBA too, yeah. and the NFL. I mean, I think just everything, right? So, well. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm not I'm not sticking my head in the sand here or nothing, but I do it is concerning a little bit because I know that I know that they have to a lot of these guys are vaccinated, right? Yeah. yeah. So So I mean, I think uh, no, the players aren't as sick this time. Yeah, I know, still, but like, still kind no, of concerned a little bit. It yeah, ex yeah, for sure. Uh Regrenzel, I'm going to Okay, I'm going to check that out. Thank you. Um, but like one of the one of the Canucks is like he has like long COVID and he like can't play anymore. Uh, from from when he got it last, yeah. So yeah, I saw I saw Olga. I hope Olga's feeling better. Oh yeah. I think she said it was just like a bad cold, but yeah. Up yeah, for there's Olga. there's I think at least one unvaxxed player in the NHL. It's Tyler Bertuzzi, and he's not allowed. He plays for the Detroit Red Wings, and he's not legally allowed to play in Canada when they come to Canada for games. And he's like, he's good. He's like one of their better players. So when they go to Canada, they just have one of their better players not playing. Oh, it's in it's in stereo. Oh, that sounds cool. It is actually kind of cool. That sounds so cool. Oh yeah, and he got COVID as well. Yeah, the unvaccinated guy. In, yes, in a division with three Canadian teams, so he's very stupid. <laughs> like he's really stupid. Aaron, welcome Thanks back. Nineteen months. Thank you. Hey, good to see you, Aaron. What's did up? You, did you want to uh, start a thing? I did not. I did not watch the. Boy, it's hard enough to watch NBA basketball. Where would I even begin trying to watch the Grey Cup here in the U.S.? I feel like it used to. Like I feel like they probably put it on like ESPN, maybe ESPN two oh. back in the day. I would watch um, if it was on ESPN. I would have watched it. Not that it's I would have like, known. But. It's like falling off though. Like no one even, no one up here even watches it anymore. Yes, me right? too. Okay, yeah, I don't have that. Like the CFL, and it was like from what I saw, it was a pretty good game. It went to overtime, and it it wow. ended on an interception. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and like the interception was cool. It was like a tipped interception. Like a player tipped it to his teammate. Nice. Uh, the the Winnipeg Blue Bombers won. They beat the the Hamilton Tiger Cats. I mean, whenever the thing is, I, I don't watch the CFL anymore. But whenever I do watch it, I'm like, oh yeah, this this is like fucking fun. Yeah. It really is. I, I can't okay, get I'm into gonna, your I'm gonna game. send you an invite here. Yeah. Um, the Blue Bombers. The Blue Bombers. Yeah. My sister-in-law came over um, to house sit and babysit for us when we were in Memphis. <laughs> and uh, when I got back, football was on. She was watching football. And I was thinking she was watching it on, uh, I get my local TV channels through my Plex server, so you can just go on any TV and watch uh, right. Antenna TV. By the way, I think you can join me through through Steam if you want. And come to find out, oh, I just, I clicked launch game instead of join game. Okay, I don't think that does anything. Well, you'd have to launch it anyway, right? I'm so. already, it's already launched, so yeah, I don't really know. But come to find out, she had signed into her YouTube TV account on my TV. So like, I mean, you can't be do you can't be doing that. I mean, I don't have YouTube TV, so maybe I'll flip it on and see if there's something on there sometime. But she was trying to sure. get oh look at the great Joey. She was trying to get other games than what we had on local TV here. So I understand what she was trying to do. But it's just right, right, it's right. just funny because you think as you get younger, you are even further divorced from 
the mainstream like media product. And I, I'm sorry for saying mainstream media, but you know what? I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about fucking cable TV. You're you know talking, what I'm talking about, about right? sports. Yeah. I'm talking about sports on television. I'm not talking about <laughs> CNN or whatever. Hey, Columbus Theater, 27 months. Welcome back. I mean, I have uh, I have NHL TV. Yeah. But that blacks out all the local Canucks games when it's not like a national broadcast. Correct. Yeah. Um. So I'll just I'll I'll just, I'll watch games on there, and then I I. But the thing is, like, it's sort of nice because. Most of the local I broadcasts are, like, so. when the stream is on anyway. Yeah. Right? So, like, uh, you know, the national broadcasts are, like, on the weekend, right? So I can watch those games. And that's fine. Yeah. Uh, being online 40 months, the big 4 welcome back. Um, and then also just, like, that's you can nice just type in, flex. like, Reddit NBA stream and you'll find a stream. Well, of course, awesome. they, all, they all, all of the scammers figured that out, and now everything's just called Reddit streams. But, yeah. Yeah. That's, that is true, but... All right, let's go. We're just gonna wail on each other here. Cosmo Cat, I have noticed that as well. That's is true, that, yeah. yeah the, the streams are 30 seconds to like a minute behind. Yeah. Um, which is kind of a pain in the ass. This song does get in my head, I have to admit. <laughs> Thank you, Manju. Did we explain what this was yesterday? I think we did. I think most people did know Mr. what it is. Mr. Sound Alert. Thank you, Bud Sound. Mr. Sandler, is, is that um, Rude Beast's new name? This is uh, Ladies Night 420. Nothing on that, huh? Welcome okay. back. I didn't hear you there. Okay, what did you cool. say? Nothing, it's fine. Hmm. Okay. High probability of donuts. I gotta remember how to play this. Yeah. Different from my usual locale. What, what's this? A finger? In my new house. Oh my god. Who does this belong to? Name yourself, woman. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my god. Oh, that's it. Oh. Isn't it crazy oh. that Tom improvised that? That's so good. I love it. But it was, son, uh, the new Ali, Venom Ali movie. Spagnola. The new Venom Is movie does was? suck. It just does. Uh, that's so sad to hear. I, the first one was a lot of fun. Suck is maybe too strong, but it's not good. And it's not nearly as good, oh my god, as the first one. So, compared to the first one, you're going to have a problem. Shit. Oh, don't oh. you get that ice, you motherfucker. Don't worry, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the block there. The physics in this are so good. Oh my god. Oh, I trashed you there. Oh um, my god. I, I thought uh, of another. So she, did, she did a cover of uh, of In the Club, but she's like, "What if In the Club was a Christmas song?" <sighs> yeah. Very and like to post that in 2021 is so fucking insane. It really is. Oh, nice catch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! Damn it. Shit. God damn it. Oh, I got a gun. <laughs> no, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Beyond Flux, I've missed that one. I know her her whole thing is um, she promotes like all of her posts, right? That's and just... she follows like she follows like 200,000 people or whatever. Yeah. I don't I can't believe she's like still going. She's still doing it. It's it's fucking crazy. The holdernesses is, I think, are probably more annoying on on the now, on their face, but I did, can ignore them. Are the holderness is the one? They did they, they do the the Chugi song? Yes. Or was that someone else? No, that was them. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, Dino's very funny. That was very funny. Yeah, it was a funny episode. This is a very good guess. Thanks for the sub. Oh my God. Server system, forty six months. Welcome back. Oh baby. Oh, what was that? Me holding a barrel and not throwing it. And oh, then okay. getting hit by a fucking car. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm way I'm way off. I'm way off today. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just not. That was a good one. You got to get into the game here. I'm not doing a good job. I'm not doing a good job right now. Is that true, Alter Beef? That sucks. Pizza suplex, it is. 
I mean, <laughs> alleys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ali Spagnola, yeah. Is that true, Farnhammer? That's really funny. There we oh. go. Okay, we're on the board. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, damn. When it's one on one, there's really no incentive to do anything other than throw, it seems like. Yes. Yeah, if anyone, in the, I know people in the chat have this game, so. Yeah, please. Shit. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ. This is a close one, though. Oh, oh my god. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Wow. <sighs> Incredible run there, Stefan. I got a oh new uh I got a new drink. I actually went to the store twice today. What? I got a new drink. This Are you is serious? I, I am hundred percent serious. I don't Jesus think this Christ. is gonna be good because this is like this is like the drink that you can get at GNC and stuff. Yeah. And uh it's cotton candy flavored. I think it's gonna be really bad, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Oh what's it called? Alani. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I've had some of their stuff before and did not really like it. They have a, um, you are talking about Fruit Loops earlier. Yeah. They have like a little uh, one, uh, a pre-mixed like milkshake smoothie type thing that's Fruit Loops flavored. Okay. Re very chalky, very strange. The the texture, that, that sounds very bad. Yeah, very chalky. That does not, that sounds awful. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like a diet protein drink. You know? Fuck. Oh. And now he's got the gun. Oh, oh shit! Nope. Oh, <laughs> still got me. Joey drinking the milk. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just yeah. This is probably not very good. But I did go to the store twice. I went once. Hey, thanks for um, Zed Bitron, welcome back. 35 months. I went once, got some stuff. Welcome back. Then, oh, fuck. Oh, I just saved your ass there. I guess, well, you would have gotten hit anyway. Oh, fuck. Then I got some quick hubby points, went and filled up my wife's car with gas. And okay. also put some air in the tires. Dangerously low on the air, but that's fine. Um, and no, I'm not talking about Mike's. Emotional state. Um, <laughs> so I went. That did not hit me. That did not hit me. That oh my did not God. hit me. Oh! <laughs> Don't give me the huck, huh? <laughs> oh my God. That was so satisfying. For me. Yeah. Stefan, you sound like you just got done having some sex. And. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Is there any other way I can hurt my two closest friends? Um... <laughs> yeah, send us a damn selfie. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so good if you did that. <laughs> Normal selfie of me to you and Mike. Hey guys, thought I looked good. What do you think? Jesse, you've ruined my life. <laughs> By what you have just done. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> no! Oh! I need, a, I need the third and fourth guy in here. Yeah. Because we can just... It, you're right. It, it's, it's all throwing. I, I don't think I have swung at you once tonight. No. Um, put some... Uh, put the gas in the car... Logan Broom, please do. Logan Broom, we, we would love to get you in here. Okay, wait, yeah, is there a room code? Let's see. 
I think we have to go back to the jail. Oh shit. There okay. Here, let's oh go back to the main. Oh my god. Left this landlord. Oh boy. This bump to you. Wow. Congrats. Big Congrats Howl. For 37 sure. months. Welcome back, Big Howl. Well, okay, Patty, I'm going to go uh Do not do elf on the shelf. No, we do not. Um that, I'm going to go back to the menu here. We dispense with that rather quickly. Um let's see. Cuz I think we can post the room code, I think. You know, I used to I used to think PMI was not good to have, but now people say PMI is actually not that big of a deal to have. I don't know. That seems to be the conventional wisdom now. Sometimes they make you have PMI on your mortgage, depending on your down payment and stuff. But um, my Pissing advice... and masturbating insanely. Nice, Grubby. Welcome back. 38 months. My advice is to stick with the 30-year and not try to do the 15 or even the 10. That's my advice. I would not do I would not do ten or fifteen, even though it's tempting. Jesse's to talking about how long it takes him to come. He's on SSRIs. I would say try really hard to come in thirty seconds. That would be my. <laughs> okay, where is the where's the code? The, like you can do a thing with room codes, right? I believe you're right. Yeah. But where where is the room code? I don't know. We just have to be friends on Steam, maybe? Batman Gioni, 23 months. Welcome back. If you're friends with me on Steam and you have this game, I think you can just uh, you can just click on my name or whatever and join from Steam. So, let's Jesse, you should do that right now. Let's do it that way, yeah. <laughs> Any advice for buying a car? Yes. Um, oh, wait. I have, I have the lobby code. I do have the lobby code. Okay, never mind. I'm posting the lobby code. I'm about to post it. There it is. When I are bought... you in here, Jesse? No, I don't know where. You should I... get in here I before. I don't know where if, I am. If three people get in here, then you can't play. When I bought my um, when I bought my van, this is so fucked up. This is so fucked up, and it is true, though. That food, throw it away. Yeah, throw don't it lease, away. obviously. Shut there, we got a shrimp. Nobody is. We got a shrimp. Yep. When I bought my van, the salesman said, "All right, I'm gonna go get it cleaned up. Um, why don't you go here? Well, sit right here and uh, uh, apply for the financing." And I was like, "Whatever." Um, and I, uh, I do normally apply for the dealer financing. Because a lot of times they'll have the promo rates and they'll be lower or whatever. Yeah. Um, I think next time I would go in with a plan and know what I was going to be able to get from my bank. But anyways, he tells me to sit down and apply for it. And I sit down at his desk on his computer, completely unlocked. And I go to like an internal website <laughs> uh, on his Internet Explorer. And the autofill... Oh, wait, hold on. Je Jesse, you got to join. Can you please shut the fuck up? You, no, because it, it's... It, okay, there we it's, go. Okay. It's, it's, it's like having a third child because I cannot finish a sentence without being interrupted, and it makes me want to fucking... And you're trying to talk about, like, uh, buying a car? It's so it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Daddy, we got to play the game. Daddy! That's, I'm going to call my that's friends. That's what it's like. <laughs> anyway, the autofill is turned on on the browser, and I hit, like, one to type Was in Was autofill the guy number. who owned the dealership? I'm going to put you on mute, actually. So, I see everyone's address. I see everyone's name. I see everyone's, like, income. Anybody who fucking applied for financing on that guy's computer, maybe ever, just all right there for me to look at. Okay, you're out of time that now. That rocks. Now. Okay. Oh, fuck. Just an insane, uh, insane setup. Thank you, DA. Oh, fuck. Oh! Deucer, oh. thank you for the gift sub to Autofill. Welcome, Autofill. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I think there's there's a hey, Jesse, there's a bet riding on hey, this. Hey Ken, one. how you doing? Oh shit. Oh no. This is a bad start. 
My problem is when you catch something, it is hard to then not immediately throw, yeah. throw right? Oh, he's got the blower. No. Yeah, I got Nancy Reagan. Thank you, Bradson. <laughs> I died. Oh, there's a gun. Jesse's got a gun. Jesse's got a gun. <laughs> Get up there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon room, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, fart hammer they are. That's that's what I figured out later. Cause you you end up getting some rate oh, that's fuck. like one point seven one percent or whatever. And it's like, man, you're marking this up. This sucks. I just want to go home. Oh, nice catch. Oh. I'm honestly like halfway worried I have a lemon. I oh, look at that kill. I oh shit, I searched for the issue my car is having and a lot of other people are having it as well. Bunt Reynolds, thanks for the gift to Microsoft Access. That must be a work Thank thing. Thank you, Bunt. I do not know a lot about that. I, don't, I do not know what Microsoft Access is. But I gotta say, if anything else like the many amazing Microsoft products, I think I'm gonna like it. Oh! Uh, I wasn't even looking. Oh! Open oh office. My God. Welcome. Thank you, VA. Now, you guys are on a roll with your softwares. Oh, come on. No, I'm not talking about the Stefan's Dick store. Okay. All right. Softwares. Thank you, DA. That's, I mean, that was good. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Fuck. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> wow, Andrew, that this, rocks. This ain't bad. This is actually not bad. It doesn't have a lot of flavor in it. This is the cotton candy one? Yeah. Shit. Which one are you, Stefan? Are you the blue guy? I'm the green guy. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm the green guy. Oh, I okay. I'm wearing a green like piece of clothing. That is an. I'm, what I'm, are you I've talking blue about? Icon. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Oh, shit. It's lagging. Shut up. Nobody wants to hear that from you. Website are cool. Thank you for the gift sub to win a free Apple iPad. Seventy-six gift subs. That sounds pretty good, actually. Let me click on that. Smashburger, yeah. welcome back. 38 months. Welcome back, Smashburger. <laughs> Jesse, look at this. I felt so. Look at this. I felt so stupid tonight hey, because. Hey Jesse, how you doing? Hey Ken, how you doing? Okay, I'll come back to this. I want to focus on this. Remind me to say why I felt stupid. Oh no! Oh shit! No, no. I really think I should have gotten you there. I don't know what that was. No! Oh, oh. The bounce on that? Shit. No, no. Fuck. Oh no. I was too focused on you. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> like, Pat and Libby going at it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. That was so cheap. Oh, the fan. 
Oh my god, no. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what a catch. I think that would have really hurt. Yeah. Oh, I think Jesse's got this. Oh! Oh, oh wait! He was still flashing. No! No way! Okay, Bogan Grim, okay. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Damn, this game rocks. This game is so fucking fun. Who wins? Who gets the payout? You got it. I'm talking about the our chat boosters. Oh yeah, I feel like less because I had won like three in a row, so everyone was betting yeah. on me probably. Yeah. Right? That's awesome. Wow. That's so much fun. Oh, so I was stupid because. Mm -hmm. Wait, why was I stupid? <laughs> I mean, how much time do we have tonight? What was I talking about? Uh, candy? It's gone. Bogan Room, get over here. <laughs> Thank you, bot son. All right, here we go. <laughs> Is that gonna take us back to the main menu? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Are you there, Jesse? Wait, oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Website that cool thing for the gift sub and the reminder to free iPads are legit. That thank you. Is, that, thank you. That helped. Okay. Um my uh I got my wife an advent thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And it's um it's got a whatever, it's got a bunch of shit in it. I don't know. But um one of the things in there, she took Do it you out. Have the cat food one that I got Kiki. If you keep interrupting me, first of all, I'm gonna but uh, uh, fuck! What the fuck? I can't, I can't! You you can't, stop doing this! It's your fault! Stop doing this! What's up? You have to stop doing this to me! Hey, thanks for the sub. Molecular Lionel. I'm Too gonna much. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it! I'm gonna lose it if you don't shut up! This is not how conversations are supposed to go. What? So, and so I asked. I asked if you got her the cat food one. No. So I got. Uh, I got her an advent oh. thing. It's got a bunch of different stuff in there. And okay. one of the. She pulled out one of these things. She's like, "Oh, okay. I'm not really sure what this is." And it's like these little crescent, like half moon looking things. They look like little skin, whatever. But I, 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 I guess I looked it up. It's they're called iPads. They're called iPads. And so I had to say out loud. I'm not sure what an iPad does. You know how stupid that made me feel to say I don't know what an iPad does? I know exactly what an iPad does. It goes yeah, on the computer. It's, it yeah. It's a computer that you can touch. The iPad goes on the computer, obviously. I know yeah. what an iPad is. But it's an uh, yeah, I... It's up to free iPod touch... Free iPod touch free. It's an iPad. iPad. I don't know if they're having fun with me or what. iPad is a computer, yeah. Well, the iPad uh, goes on. It goes on. Farthammer said, uh, "What did you say there, Farthammer?" Are you even in the game, Stefan? No, you're not. No, I, it says it says we encountered a problem. You're such a clown. I know. <clears throat> I mean, I'm I'm just I'm getting so frustrated with Apple products that uh, I think the next thing they're going to come out with is, is it should be called the I Quit.
I am leaving the stream forever. <laughs> hey, you guys, that's, that's the kind of shit you guys get for going crazy for that other one he said earlier, whatever was so great. The land fill. That was good. Hey, whatever what I it? said earlier was good. What was it? Something fill? What was it? Oh, autofill. Autofill. That autofill was good. Landfill autofill was the guy, was the guy the who chat. owned the dealership. Autofill was good. Okay, Jesse, uh, join the game and then and then I'll post the code in the chat. Landfill, that's you. That's right, landfill. Autofill. Autofill. Because I'm a savage. Autofill. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm, I'm posting the code in the chat here. Did you say you're posting hole in the chat? I'm posting my hole in the chat, yeah. Stefan, that's fucking crazy, my man. <laughs> Come on, bro. I think uh, I think we're gonna bring uh, Kiki over to my parents' house on Christmas Day because no their their dog is. Did I, did I talk about this already? Or did I talk about this on Block Party? Who cares? I legitimately forget. Kato, this is really good. So I actually but don't. I, think we're gonna, we're I don't know we're the source. Kiki over oh, sorry, to sorry, hang. sorry, Stefan. Were you saying something? Yeah, I was. Having, I was talking, and you sort of uh, really interrupted me. Uh, my my parents have a uh, an extra litter box laying around from when uh, I used to live there, <laughs> 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 and I shit in it. Yeah. <laughs> was that it? You were just gonna take your cat somewhere? For yeah, on a for a Christmas. Who's, yeah. Who is Mr. Beast Suck Me Off? <laughs> it's a really good name. Insanely good story from Stefan as always. ZD Grow, thank you for the gift sub too. I'm leaving this stream. Bye bye. Uh, I'm going to order the Mr. Beast burger tonight. I want to get that. I saw it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to have it <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> that is very cool. I did think about getting it the other day. I mean, there's no way they're good, right? It's just like a ghost kitchen, right? Yeah, of course. But just to be able to say that, I mean, for the same reason I got this eight pack of cotton candy seltzers so I can say, oh, I right. got it. Uh, yeah. uh. Oh, you know what I almost did that was even worse today at the fucking store? This is store trip too. I almost got, um, do you, do you have a reference point for what, uh, Pedialyte is? Uh, it's like a drink for like kids, right? But like also people who are like very hungover need like and need hydration, right? I, I think it's a good use of the word appropriated to say that Pedialyte has been appropriated by by drunk college students. Um, yeah. Website are cool. Thank you for the gift sub too. iPad winner. Oh hey, I need to talk to them. I need to use their <laughs> iPad to go on the computer. Oh wow. Um, the jump over that that was good. Oh. We're in trouble here. Oh! Fuck! Oh! No. Oh. 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 oh my god. So I almost... I, I did it. I actually did a double take. If anyone saw me do this, they saw the double take. Yeah. I walked past... It's a triple take when you do it. That's right. I walked past. Yeah, thank you for the two iPad Mini. Go ahead, Jesse. Uh, walked past an end cap and saw the Barstool Sports logo on a bottle of, like, rebadged what? Pedialyte. Uh. Are you serious? One hundred percent serious. I guess. I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense, but it's still it's very weird. I almost bought the uh, Barstool Sports Pedialyte drink at the store. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. No, no, no. See, that is ice. Thanks for the gift of the iPad lover. Hello. Wow. You look going on the computer. really good. Oh, my God. God damn. Dude, Broken Room says chill out after he killed us with ice. That's so sick. 
Martian Lawrence. That's brutal. Did we miss a gift sub, Martian Lawrence? I'm sorry. What, what, what was the gift sub? Why don't you tell me what the gift sub is you wanted to give? <laughs> Wait, which one am I? You're the, the, oh, I'm the, the green, green guy. guy. Oh, well, I'm wearing green clothes. It does seem to be lagging a little bit. Oh, my God. He's got a gun. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, that's oh. interesting. Miller Fillmore Gaming says it's called Revitalite. I used to carry it when I worked at a distributor. There's one flavor that's sponsored by Barstool, but all the others are normal. Well, I saw the one Barstool flavor in none of the other flavors, so you can kind of see what's going to get the push, I think, huh? That sucks. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. Okay, what was the gift sub? I'm, I'm going to... Games, games. Welcome back. Two months. Thanks. Welcome back. Okay, I'm scrolling up here. Wow, we must. Martin really... Lawrence, thank you for the gift sub too. I keep it toxic. <laughs> 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 worth the wait. Sorry about that. Thank you. These trash bags really go far when you throw them. They do. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Oh, oh no way! Oh fuck! That was glass. I did not know that was glass. Shit! No! Shit. Oh my god. That's fucked. That was insane. That's fucked. Shit. Oh, no! Wow. That was a nice throw. Well done. That was a very good throw. <laughs> okay, Bogan Broom in the lead right now. Okay, he's orange, so orange can't win, and then we'll be good. Yeah. Thank you for noticing. The toilet, open up your mouth, and I'll piss in it. Oh, oh, masterful. Oh, wow. Thank you, Bethany. Jesus. There we go. Okay, we got we to gotta be careful here. Okay, let's get him, Jesse. Yes, he's got a minigun. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even hit you with a bullet, did I? No, I think you hit me. you just like whipped the gun into me. Brandon Phoenix, one year happy stream anniversary. Welcome back. Whew. Dipshit, I don't believe it's related at all to that game. It does sh share maybe some aesthetics, but Oh my god, that catch. <laughs> oh shit. Wow. Did you pick me up off the ground? Yeah. That was cool. Oh, fuck. There's some shit in here. Oh, and you can't <laughs> catch the punch. Well, I caught him, but... Oh, my God. No! Oh, boy. Oh, shit. No, fuck! Whoa. Okay. Oh, Pokemon's he's got three! Gonna... Oh, my God, he's got three! Whoa. Ah! Thank you, Splinker Bell. I did. Oh, my God. Damn it. Come on, Mr. Beast. Don't, Swing at him. Don't say, come on, Mr. Beast. Come on, Mr. Beast. <laughs> Look at him. He's toying with him. Oh, my God. Okay, there's one. There's one. There's one. Okay, get ready. Don't forget about the button. Don't forget about the button. No. Oh, the umbrella. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, beef. This is good. 
Oh, the uh, all the other game, the other game they make. Trail makers. I've okay. heard that's good. Yeah. Maybe we wow. should play that. Nice job, Bogan Broom. Good really, job. Really well done. Wow. That was good. That was good. Um, I'm gonna hold on. I is Dan is Dan in the chat? He may maybe he's is doing Dan there? maybe he's doing something else. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around. Uh, he's allowed to do other things. My mom just sent me a screen grab of an email from my from my aunt, uh, and she was she's mad that we told the Mr. Buckle story again on the pod. Ah, uh, boy, yeah, that's pretty low class, Stefan. Uh, she also says uh, I showed I showed your uncle a picture of the Baldo on my phone, and he tried to play its video. So if I start getting Baldo ads on Facebook, it's your fault. <laughs> The ground just shook. Yeah. He loves the ball. Okay, I... now you have another game here, right? Yup. I gave a content warning this time for the Mr. Buckle story because it is like it's really it's really bad. As I've gotten older, that story sounds worse and worse, you know, every time. Yeah, and but it is also funny. The it celebration of it is also in poor taste. Uh, no, like the shirt is good and stuff, you know. I think mine that finally. I think mine fun, finally tore up. So. Your ball, though. Okay. Okay, <laughs> and I think we're done. And we're done. <laughs> All right, babes. God, that's such a good song. <clears throat> I'm gonna play a tutorial. What do you think about that? I'm excited. I know you like you like tutorials. You're big into tutorials. I love tutorials. Yeah. This is man. Rubber bandits is really fun. We're gonna play that again. Absolutely. So. This is very similar to. Does anyone remember what the other game was that was similar to this? Where it's called what is it? Is this called Top Down? I swear you played one that was like. It was like a mech one. I thought. I don't think it was. Me or, well, there was. You know what? Now it that wasn't you it like it. a mech one where it was like the 1930s or something almost. Like it was like a World War II like mech one though. It was like a steampunk World War II thing. Uh, well, the one I'm thinking of was like aliens, and you, then you could go and get into a. Uh, you could go and get into like a little machine oh. and like shoot around. But there was aliens there. You oh. didn't play XCOM, did you? No. Was no. it XCOM? No, no, no. I mean, we played it on the stream. But it's, like it was like that. Nine it months was, ago. It was a. It was a sponsored oh. game. Yeah. Jurassic Actions. Thank you for the sub to Udon. Welcome. This is called Thunder Tier One. Oh, was it One. Helldivers? Sorry, go ahead. I'm interrupting you. I don't. It's good that you noticed, but I wasn't saying anything important. I don't I don't recall the name Helldivers, but that doesn't mean. You know what I meant to do? What did you mean to do? Rotate camera with mouse. What does that mean? What does MMB? <laughs> Middle mouse? Oh. Middle mouse button, yeah. Do all you got it. Do all Mises. You, you were doing you were doing the thing I do all the time, which is you say out loud <laughs> a question, but <laughs> the question has the answer in it. Yeah. I thought it was XCOM. No, I don't. We wouldn't have played it on here. Wreck my whole. It was something very, very similar. Look how good it's. If it wasn't man. XCOM, it's where you're like, it, there's like, you can be like, okay, go over here and like, go like five squares this way and like shoot this guy or like hide behind this thing, right? You're right. It was okay. There's some Falco. I think that's right. It was a game made by the XCOM guy, maybe. Again, that oh, that makes sense. Moving. Yeah, that's what it was. At Phoenix Point. I that's, think that's what it was. Yeah, 100. That's, that's what right. it was. Yeah. I think someone said Phoenix Point earlier. I'm I'm sorry for. Uh, sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Can I can I uh can I complain about some chips for a second here? Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Of course. It's not. It's not like a flavor of chips. Um. It is it is the different types of chip bags, right? Because what I have found is the is the uh, is like the fancier chips. More often than not, it has the little like slit cut into it, like pre-cut into the side that okay. you can kind of like pull open, right? You know what I mean? I you do, tear it yeah, open. I do know what you mean. As opposed to the ones that you just very easily pull apart and Pop. it's open. It's it's very and then it's very easy to roll shut and then clip shut, right? Right. But you do the one like this, you always end up opening it like down to the side and then crumpling it up is like impossible. And then even using like a, a chip clip doesn't really work. Like, what are they thinking? You're not wrong. I mean, you're you're 100 percent spot on here. I'll tell you what. 
my wife yeah. bought a product that I was pretty skeptical of to begin with, but now I'm sort of a convert. Oh, wait, sorry. I think Pat just nailed it, though. The rich guy chips assume you're pouring them into a dish rather than eating them right out of the bag. <laughs> That's 100% what it is, right? That may be, there may be something to that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't expect some, like, hog like me to eat the entire thing out of the bag. <laughs> Maybe that's right. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Oh my god! Thank you, Pat. Fuck. And thank you, Stefan, <laughs> for interrupting me again. No, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Jesse. You were saying some stupid shit, or some smart shit. I was about to solve your problem, but now you can die. <laughs> Very good first time chat there. Also, hi. We, can't, we, we can't say that on the stream. Hello. Uh, what's up, Dan? Hey, guys. Uh, so thanks for getting the uh, warm-up done for the show. Um, you guys ready for the real show? I'm ready. I know what's coming here. I... I t and, I, and I sort of gave Jesse a little preview. I just said that there was a cameo. I didn't say who it was. I thanks did also say... Thanks a fucking lot, Stefan, okay. for well, almost ruining it off the bat. You well, fuck. Thank you, Thank Oscar. You for oh. Toilet. Open up Are those your 500 mouth bits? Pissing. Is that is that going to be the the NFT thing still, Jesse? I don't even know where we left off on that. We got to figure this out. We're gonna we'll we'll play I, a quick. I am so pissed at Stefan right off the bat. I wanted this to be a total surprise, dude. It's all day. Already... I know. <laughs> Big Dan, the birthday boy. Good timing. Welcome back. 15 months. It's um, like I automatically did a 180 on being Jesse excited to roast Jesse with this. Me. I didn't say what it was, though. I, I just said it was a cameo. What is it? And I said who it was from, also. <laughs> and he played it and for I me. And I said what happened in um, it. And I sent him the video this morning. I'm just kidding. Is that not exactly... I mean, that's what a, that's what a kid would do, is say, I'm not... It is... I, I like... Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Um, <laughs> I've never been on this side of the Stefan equation. I've never been in the Jesse seat, so to speak. Right. I'd yeah. love to be. But um, uh, this is some bullshit. I cannot believe you Jesse have to put up with this. creamed me. It's all the time. It's all the time with this guy. Thank you, son. Just wait. What what? Talking about? Start, start explaining it, and then he'll interrupt you. Well, what I was excited to so what Dan. Say... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> And Chris, hold on one second as well. Um, <laughs> what I was about to say was, uh, Jesse did not know I did this. We're a little behind, as as the person in the cameo will attest to. Mm -hmm. uh, Stefan can attest, and I do give permission for him to say this. This was in the works before the uh, the other cameo. I forget yes. who bought that one. That was that was <laughs> Mars. That, that was Mars. a Badlands cameo. I will say the the this cameo is much shit. longer. I will say that. Wow. <laughs> so, so long, in fact, um, we should. I I'm going to tell you right now do not play all of it. Um, oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, what's the best way of doing this here? Should I just send it to you, Jesse? And, uh, yeah. So post it in the Discord here. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hang on one second. Omnivore, um, thank you for the gift sub to Sinatra Fanboy. 347 oh, gift subs. I got this yeah. guy. I got this guy. Oh, and also, I think I think Omnivore sent me. Uh, he was asking me about some hockey cards. I'm gonna answer. Him. I'm gonna answer right here on the stream. Oh my god, the cameo was. So <laughs> That's what you like to hear, folks. Oh, I think my th those are good god. cards, Omnivore. I mean, the Canucks don't like the Oilers, but those are the McDavid and the Gretzky. Those those are nice cards. Holy those hell! Are good. So, Jamie, uh, Jamie, let's let's pull that shit up, Jamie. Oh my! People god. are gonna people are gonna go nuts for this. They're gonna love this. One part in particular, I think. Yeah, it's almost like a little. That's... It's almost like a little throwaway line. We're, we're entering the the JCU, the Jesse Cinematic Universe. Okay. Wow. And all the stars are converging like the Avengers. Okay. This is uh, this is very very cool. Let me see if we can pull this up here. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> 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 
Peter, how you doing? Okay. Coach here. I'm in our press room in our beautiful Arrowhead Stadium, home of your Kansas City Chiefs. Let me tell you, it is a beautiful week. It's always a beautiful week after you crush the Las Vegas Raiders. That's right, baby. Yep, hey, man, we are playing some of our biggest mm -hmm. divisional rivals right now in the AFC West. We beat the uh, a lot of Denver Homerism Broncos. In this. Uh, <laughs> we beat, uh, yeah. Las Vegas Raiders. Did you tell him now, I played uh, for the Chiefs or something? We've got the Los <laughs> Angeles uh, Chargers. He went a little course, rogue. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> playing the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. They're a well-coached team. You talked and, a uh, man, lot more about the Chiefs than I thought. I absolutely <laughs> look forward to it. Our players look forward to it. It's going to be a great matchup on uh, Thursday Night Football. Of course, you know, this game has a lot of implications tied into it. I mean, and if we win it, <laughs> we're going to roll into our, uh, maybe it's our sixth I'm straight AFC Championship West uh, <laughs> divisional win, man. I'll, or, uh, <laughs> championship, man. Hey, this is great, man. I love this team. It is not exactly at all like I had planned to hear at the beginning of the year. It's Who not? expected that our defense would be rolling Look, us into the playoffs? But maybe when season, it comes to you know? Super Bowl, and we hope to get to our third straight here, you know, uh, that's exactly what you need is a great defense. And, man, we haven't had that here. I'm going to warn you now. I'm going to tell so you when to stop year playing it. Is okay. our we'll year. On for man, we've had some challenges this year, haven't we? <laughs> man, we, we got beat up by the Buffalo Bills. And then, man, oh, man, we we uh, had, uh, oh, Henry <laughs> and those Tennessee Titans. Three. Here we go. Man. Hey, they had, they presented some challenges to us. Yep. I know there's a lot of Tennessee Titan fans out there, man. So uh, when you played us, man, you tightened up. <laughs> that is for oh, sure. No. Sorry, and this you, special man? message is going out go, to Jesse, who, Jesse, I understand that you are a Tennessee Titan fan. Yep. I know you guys have had a lot of injuries, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, Jesse, I know that you understand all about injuries and the, all the challenges that come with that, especially with the toenail issue that you've had. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> hey, man, that's okay. Uh, you know, first of all, I want to sing a happy birthday to you, and I know it's a, a little late, uh, but, uh, you know, with the big games that we've had, man, it's been a challenge uh, to get yeah, these that months. messages and get them all done for everybody. So, hey, Jesse, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Jesse. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> hey, man, this comes from your buddy now, Dan O'Sullivan. Uh, uh, and, man, yep. I'll tell you what. Tighten up. Well, you know, uh, uh, so I'm going to uh, warn you, you right now. Kind of, uh, he talks for about uh, three more minutes about Derrick Henry. Finishing. So you can <laughs> actually stop it there if you'd like. <laughs> that I Okay, I'll watch the rest later on. That is uh, absolutely incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. That's a wonderful gift. Wait. What? Katie Fellow says, this guy, the, the almost Andy Reid guy has billboards in my neighborhood. He's a fucking real estate agent. He advertises his agency on the back of him looking like Andy Reid. Uh, I did not know that. But <laughs> the good news so is, good. I did not spend much money on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Incredibly enough, he is not charging a premium for that service. That uh, is so good. That is so good. Now, what I don't know is, is does, is that what... Is that what Andy Reid sounds like, or no? I don't. I think it sort of is, mm, from what I recall. Yeah, he it's, he's got the look. Of, yeah, I think the look is pretty close, right? I think he's look. from California, so he doesn't have a regional accent that I remember. Interesting. But um, I don't know. The chat would probably. I haven't heard him. I feel like I haven't heard him speak in a long time. Uh, chat is saying it's not a good. <laughs> it's not a good Andy <laughs> Reid impression. Okay. So there you go. Okay. But the, in the spirit of it, you know. Yeah. He's got the look. He's got the look for sure. He's got so. the look. Yeah, he's got the look. God, incredible. What That's am, so good. What do I? Yeah. What do I do? So, that was really great, man. Thank you. You're welcome. That's very, your very thoughtful. Uh, th this I can share this now with the uh, with the community. Uh, Jesse uh, told me after the fact he looked up same day singing Telegram services to go to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, that did not happen. But uh, how good would that have been for someone to knock on your door and start uh, blowing into a harmonica? Wait, I was gonna ask, like, what what would you have sent? You know, was is it an impersonator or is it just what would they be singing? What someone, they... uh, can I just say, someone just sent us this on uh, on the Golf Kings Twitter. I'm gonna send it in the Discord. Jesse, do not put this up on the stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that related to what we were discussing? All is right. That... Why would you even? No, but okay, I'm gonna retweet it from the Golf Kings account. So what you're saying, Dan, here is basically you were in the middle of talking and then something happened, right? 
<laughs> not not just something happened. Stefan interrupted, uh, and I'll just blow it because uh, he would do that. Um, Stefan interrupted to show uh, a pick. And you're going to blow the Grinch it. with a huge uncut cock. Uh, <laughs> and his balls are huge, too. And it, also huge balls. Yeah. His so, balls are so big. <laughs> for those in the chat wondering what, what he interrupted to share with us, that is... Uh, Here's here's what I'm wondering is is there fur is that his skin on his penis there or is that fur, right? Because he has fur on the rest of his body. He's furry, right? What's, what's wrong with you? Yeah, seriously. Okay, I guess if you're not. What the fuck is wrong with curious? you? You don't want to know? I I already know what it is. The fur is his pubes. That those are the green. I know. Pubes. I mean, I know that, but I'm just saying. Do you think? Do you think that's there could be fur on the penis, but it's just a very thin layer of fur, and it's like a lighter color. Dog, that's a foreskin. Yeah, but it could still. Do you know, do you know it's what a Grinch looks like? I'm just. I know. I'm. But he's got fur all over his body. Is what I'm saying, right? Like he has fur on his ass. He has fur on his hands, right? He does. He appears to have a shaved penis and ball combo. So he he has to. Do you think he has to shave his entire penis? I think he's a freak. Yeah, I think he fucking. Well, I think with Manscaped, I mean, it's so easy. And I just want to say promo code Grinch on Manscaped. Manscaped <laughs> gives you a cleaner cut. <laughs> On your penis and ball combo than any other. <laughs> Use promo code Grinch for fifteen dollars off sure your we... penis and ball combo shaving kit. I don't think Christmas. we can legally I say cleaner cut. I didn't think his cock was going to be that big. Can I say that? Why would you? I, not... You can say anything. It's, it's a, your stream. It's a drawing. I didn't think Why the Grinch's they... cock was going to be that. You big. thought they were going to make it small in the drawing. Yeah, he's ang he's angry, and then and then when he's when he saves Christmas, his cock grows like three sizes or whatever, right? That's All so. Right, that's not bad. You're gonna give him that's that not bad. bad. Come on, that's good. That's good for him. I'm grading that's on a good. curve here. <laughs> Looks like so is the Grinch. Yeah, I mean, I knew that was coming too. Much like the Grinch. <laughs> so look, um, I'll, I'll share this. We're having fun. Uh, I would have thought the Grinch was circumcised. No. Are you serious? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. That's controversial. Apparently. <laughs> are you fucking? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. No. No, he has he has uncut energy for sure. I don't I don't agree with that. He's a control freak. Dude, the whole thing ah! the there's a song about how much he stinks and it's because of all the smegma under his foreskin. Is that what the the sauerkraut and toadstool <laughs> That's what is on that sandwich, yeah. With arsenic sauce, that's what it actually is. Yeah. Dan, were you not just saying how you thought the sandwich sounded good? I was. Well, and I'll tell you why. I'll share it with well, you. I'm guys. saying it again now that I've heard what the actual. <laughs> yeah, it, it even sounds. Dan, welcome now. back. Thirty-one uh, months. Can I can I just quickly say, Dan, that the Grinch is. Oh no, you go ahead. The, the Grinch is uncut at the start of the movie, and then, uh, or the it's not a movie, but well, it is a movie. But I'm talking, I'm talking about the cartoon. <laughs> the, the cartoon. But then he gets his he gets his cock. How do you know the Grinch from the Jim Carrey movie? Was there a <laughs> book first? Well, there was also uh, there was also an animated movie as well. But the Grinch gets oh, yeah, his no shit. Yeah, thanks okay. for cluing me in on the no, but animated there, Grinch movie. No, there was a recent one. Anyway, fuck this. I'm just so he got his cock stuck in uh, the sewing machine, like when his when his dog Max get gets his tail stuck in there, right? Remember that? And he's he's like sewing the Santa costume. He got his cock stuck in there, and it ripped his foreskin off. Anyway, you're gonna say something. Jesse, uh, do you have a response to that? Stefan, you should be in the care of others. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, you know what? Maybe we could even pull this up on the screen and see if people are into this. I put it in the chat. I'll put it in the Discord too. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got the actual the actual sandwich. Now, here's what I said. It I, I thought it sounded good on the basis of uh, some enterprising gourmand made the sandwich from the Grinch song. The uh, you know, it's just it's just called the Grinch song. The Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah. From the movie, exactly. if that helps. Okay. Um, Fuck you. <laughs> let me pull up the exact I, line. Here. I know the, it, the. It looks good. The this Grinch. Good. The Grinch is actually a realtor in my neighborhood. That's where I know him from. I didn't know he had a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't sound anything like Andy Reid. I'll say that. <laughs> um, so in the song, the narrator sings, "You're a three-decker toadstool and sauerkraut sandwich with arsenic sauce." And uh, isn't yeah, this just, a, this is just a, this is just a two decker sandwich though, right? Technically. Oh my God! Can you relax? But uh, am you I? Are, you I'm, are a fucking moron. What is the deck of the sandwich? Do you think a, wait, wait, hold on? Do you think a triple decker 
has four pieces hey, of bread on it. Sub. Well, what, what doesn't make more sense that the deck would be the food part of it and not the bread part of it? Shut the fuck up. Admiral Akbar, 25 months. Welcome back. We're not doing one of your little things like this again. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, pardon, uh, pardon. Uh, cheese and sauce is a topic. I'm, I'm right. Time. I'm right. I'm right, though. Yeah, There's nothing so, on top of yeah. the, 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 are, no, 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 you are fuck, fucking listen to me, listen to me, you're, listen you're to me. You're never going to admit that you lost the election. Listen, listen to me, motherfucker. The top piece of bread is the roof of the sandwich. Jesse, are you going to help me out here? I, I can't figure out how to play the game. I, I got I'm one battle at a time here. <laughs> how do you change weapons? Everyone agrees with me. People agree with me. Oh, the, the sycophants who pay for this shit agree with you? <laughs> Shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you switch? How do you how do you switch weapons? Anyone see that? Uh, first, why? Uh, I feel like grenades not a weapon. I'm not able to. Okay, come on now. I mean, in the in the game. That's the most insane thing anyone has said on the on the stream tonight. All right. Jesse thinks a grenade isn't a weapon. Come on. Well, on the right hand, sure. I'm giving I'm giving you exactly nothing. Tripped out. That's right. By Dan's twisted logic, a normal sandwich is a double decker because it has two slices of bread. Hey shithead, no one's ever <laughs> called something a double decker sandwich. I guess Taco Bell had the double decker for a while. Okay, so you were immediately proved wrong. Go ahead, Dan. Taco Bell doesn't do sandwiches. Well, they do tacos, which are Don't don't. I mean don't. Don't. do it. We'll Say be it. Here all night if you do this. Looking at Dan and making the noise from the thing <laughs> because Stefan's infected me with his stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. About the game? I don't know how to do the grenades. Press uh, G, maybe. No, because see, G brings up the the weapon tree here, but I don't. But all I have is the MP5. Okay. Press uh, uh, C. I was not thinking of this noise from the Invasion of the Body Snatchers, a movie I've never seen. I was That's in fact, what I was thinking, Fart Hammer, where he's like pointing and screaming? Yeah. No, no. I was thinking of the noise from The Thing, a, a movie which I have seen many times and recently and loved, and the noise in it is great. So. And what's the, how's, what does it sound like? What's the noise? It's when that guy, uh, the, the wearing glasses guy, is on his knees in the field, oh. and he like does that weird screech, oh. and his hands have like way too many fingers, and then they burn okay. him. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's Thank a good you, hey, There's lots the of sounds. Just in from the Supreme Court, where Stefan decides uh, everything that's right or wrong. <laughs> uh, he agrees with Jesse on that one. Well, I uh, I got my ass thrown out on uh, some sandwich cases, unfortunately, which I will be taking home with me. Dan, I, I got to be honest, the way the Supreme Court is going would not surprise me one lick if all of a sudden Stefan was in there deciding cases, and that's just. That's the mm -hmm. scary thing about it, but it's also true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on the Supreme Court now. <laughs> so, so oh. this just we have a I have a bit of a scoop here. I'm going back to my journalism days. Yeah. Are you cleaning uh, out your litter box? Website dot cool. Thank you for the gift sub to free Chipotle burrito. Welcome. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And we will thank you for the gift sub to the thing. Anyway, Dan, you were saying something about your litter box. <laughs> First off, it's fine for adults <laughs> to use them. Okay, they're actually they actually make a lot of sense in a drought. <laughs> um, Very sanitary. Yeah. Do you guys know the uh, George Clooney story about the litter box? No. All right, this is a good one. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, no. Strap in for this. Does he, does he shit in a litter box? Thread. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Famous drunk driver. Twenty-two months. Welcome back. Okay. So first of all, story. here we go. This isn't even the funny part of this. The funniest part of the story. Do you guys know who George Clooney's roommate was for many years? Rodney Dangerfield. I feel like I've heard this before, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, it was Richard Kind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Larry's cousin on Curb wow. Your Yeah, I love Richard Kind. And Jesse, you would definitely recognize him if you saw him. Um, Richard Kind so is from they Spin were City, of course. I think that he was even his best man at his wedding. What was that, Jesse? Richard Kind is from Spin City, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, they had a cat. Or I think that maybe that they were like looking after a cat or something. And um, uh, Richard Kind was in charge of uh, cleaning out the litter box while they were sitting for it. So um, the thing was, he kept noticing that 
the cat was taking bigger and bigger shits until they were <laughs> enormous. Yeah. And he was like worried something was wrong with it. George Clooney had been shitting in the litter box uh, when he was not around, and then <laughs> pranking him uh, with God. That. So that that is the story on, That's on so that, good. which I thought was pretty good. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. That's so funny. Very. Is cool there are there any, any... A list celebrity in the future who who did that? Yeah. yeah. Are there any? Is there any video footage of George Clooney shitting in a litter box? That we could see? Yeah, it's called uh, Suburbicon. Two thumbs down. Ouch! <laughs> no, it's called uh, it's called Leatherheads. Written by Rick Riley. Oh, okay, boy. you're going to give me notes on the fucking joke? I just did that. I just Yeah, but with Leatherheads, you can make fun of Rick Riley as well. So. Did, wait, wait, did Rick Riley write that? Yeah, he did. Yeah, dude. Are you fucking for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He seriously did. Isn't that great? <laughs> he did. Does he still write the, the back page of Sports Illustrated? No. No, he was uh, executed by the state. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you know? <laughs> Welcome, thank you for the up to George Clooney's egg. Welcome. Rick Riley is a clone. His clone is in Gitmo right now. It's really sad. You know, uh, yeah, somebody said in the chat that's harsh. I uh, Maybe it's just b because it's been so long since I read yeah. him. I don't have any harsh feelings towards him. And sports media got so much fucking worse since then, you know? Boy, but you got to go back and read his golf jokes columns. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, look some up right now. For some reason, the golf was what came to mind as the most offensive. There was a period of time where Tiger Woods was considered God by some of the most annoying people on earth. Yeah. And then the other weird thing is his transgression was having a lot of sex, and that knocked him off the pedestal. Yeah. Which Inex the, inexplicable. The whole thing. Very is. odd. Very, very odd. Yeah. Just weird guys who get into sports media. I think. Well, <laughs> uh, okay, here, I've got a, I've got a, a golf jokes column from May 18th, 2012 by Rick Riley for ESPN. Oh, 2012. Yeah, yeah, dude. I was sure you were going to say from 1999, you know? No, this was, uh, this was, I guess this is, he was done with Sports Illustrated at this point. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so here's, uh, here's how it opens. Your game is awful. You shouldn't even be allowed on the golf course. Not your golf game. Your golf talk game. It's lamer than your MySpace account. That's how now, it's now, he didn't write the MySpace reference in, in the year of our Lord, 2012. Uh, he did, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so he, so what he's done is he, he'll give you a situation on the golf course, and then he'll he'll say what the old golf talk thing would have been. God, I and love what this. Should, what you should say oh. now. <clears throat> so here's maybe, one. Maybe don't print all of those old ones. Well, there's some I'm not going to read. Or the new uh, ones by that time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so here's here's a situation. Your buddy hits a shot deep into the woods. Old. Even if that thing were covered in bacon, Lassie couldn't find it. New. Even if that thing were covered in butter and sugar, Paula Dean Paula couldn't Dean find it. Paula couldn't find it. Get the, get the, shut the front door. <laughs> Hold on. I do want to uh -huh. say something from the chat. Yeah. The, uh, Contrail236 says, the last book Riley wrote, Commander and Cheat, How Golf Explains Trump. Yes. An on-the-ground and behind-the-scenes look at Donald Trump's ethics deficit on and off the course. I do want to say one thing on that. I don't even know if that's true or not. Is that true? I think it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't think that's so outlandish. The fact that he is one of those guys who cheats at golf and, like, kicks the ball and, and stuff like that kind of does explain everything about him, I feel like. It's a I pretty – I can see posting that. I think it's a pretty thin premise Writing for a, a book. book. Yeah, I, I yeah. think – I think I just covered it basically. And by the I think I would I would be interested in like anecdotes of like Trump on the golf course. I would going to be yes. so insane. I right? agree with that. I agree with that. Some of his worst behaviors, yes, I could see how that would be funny, but would not. I don't think I'd read a whole book about like doing like political theory <laughs> from Rick Riley on the topic. I don't think I would catch Sorry. that. Hold on, I have never seen this before. Fart Hammer got tagged got by like the auto mod. It says suspicious user. <laughs> yeah. On his post, and he, I mean, he posted, spot the lie, you know. He says, "Your yeah. friend slices a tee shot into a bunker. Old, great shot, right on the beach. New, 
Jesse was thinking of invasion. Of <laughs> can you can guys? I, I'm gonna. Can you get this up on the on the screen, Jesse? I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know if uh, this will show up, but or if it showed up in the chat for anyone else, but is it, it says he's a suspicious user. Yeah, is it visible to you guys that it says suspicious user? It showed up to me. Oh, because I I'm logged in on the. Is that what you're were wondering about? <laughs> uh, I said he was a Kremlin uh, bot. Okay, well that probably did do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So here's one from uh, from Rick. Situation: Your opponent's putt is just a little too long to get. Oh, still some chicken left on that bone. I, I don't know if I can read this. Wait, one. that was it? That was the joke? No, that's the old one. Still some oh, chicken okay. left on that bone. <laughs> the, okay. Are the you? Wait. One, if, is it? Is it so? Is it? You shouldn't read it. It is a reference to Barack Obama's birth certificate. I mean, <laughs> that's fine. Jesus Christ, you know. I think he you says, have to read it now. Yeah, but. he said. Yeah, so the new one is still need to see the birth certificate, Barack. For the if long putt. For the long putt. What is the connection there? I, I guess Barack Obama was in the news maybe in 2012. <laughs> was he? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what I, think, is it? I think he ran for re-election that year. Yeah, so he was in the news, yeah. <laughs> Bogan oh, Broom. Says, this user was marked as suspicious by Bogan Broom on December 14th. That is good. <laughs> That's very funny. And no need to go into the time I was a mod for about three days. Um, <laughs> that did not end well. Um, oh boy. That's okay, I did. Okay, I definitely cannot read this one. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Don't don't tell us when you can't read. Well, I'll just send just you want to hear it. He doesn't Situation, have a brain in his your, head. I your know. Your buddy takes a huge divot. Old. Jeez. Why don't you just get a shovel? New. Thanks. We were looking for somewhere to bury Secretariat. Se I he, secretariat. I guess he died in 2012. The horse. That's insane. Yeah, he was hit by a toxic dose of radiation. Everyone knows this. <laughs> he died in like the 70s, right? I, I, that's what I thought. I, I was going to show my ignorance, but I was thinking, isn't that a very old horse? I don't keep track crown? of horses. Well, you said new picture, uh, new picture, or new uh, new place to bury him. New place to bury him. So what like is he Jimmy Hoffa, they gotta move him. They're gonna find yeah. him. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> dig him so, up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was a teamster. <laughs> the truth was Robert De Niro killed Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Very weird. He's got him like in the, he's in the car on the drive over. <laughs> Just Secretary the horse in the car. <laughs> Secretary <laughs> enters the house and he sees nobody's in it. He says, "Frank, we gotta get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> then they hit him on the head, the head with a hammer. <laughs> Yeah, he's a horse. Oh, oh, what a big man you are! Okay, here, here's another one. Situation, and if Gre if Greg is watching, this one's for Greg. Situation: Your buddy is wearing an awful hat. Old. Do you get a free bowl of soup with that hat? New. Okay, how long I mean, did the, how long really did the doctors say chance. you had to wear that? The doc. That one's pretty good, actually. I think saying that someone is wearing a prescription hat. Hold on. Both. Of, I mean, the the first one was literally said by Rodney Dangerfield. But yeah. both of them could be. I don't see what's yes. new about that, you know? Yeah. Saying someone is wearing a, a medical hat is good, I think. Not the way I he think that said was it. Funny. Yeah, but it's very old, you know? Yeah. Oh, you uh, need a prescription for that? Okay, I can't say Oh, that damn, I died. One. Uh, okay. Okay, situation. A guy has a terrible swing. Old. Don't take that swing out of town. You'll never get parts for it. New. Hey, Bubba Watson called. He wants his swing back. Bubba Watson is like good now, though, right? Yeah. I mean, didn't he like also win we're a bunch? using the so and so call? They want it back, you know? That's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, oh, hold on, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Um, Wretched nerd says there's a great anecdote about Lenny Dykstra conning a Paris restaurant into letting him wear a hat inside because he said he had a recent <laughs> head wound. Ah! Is that a con if he actually had the head wound, though? Yeah, exactly. 
well, the the head wound. He, I, I just assume he gets a head wound every few days, and that yeah. explains his behavior. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good guy, though. Great guy. <laughs> really good guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, situation: Your friend hits it on the green, but nowhere near the hole. Old. At least you're on the dance floor. New. You're on the dance floor, but you can't hear the music. <laughs> That's so shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, one thing you have to keep in mind about this is is not only was this guy he wasn't just a sports blogger in the early to mid 2000s this guy was at one time the highest paid sports writer in the entire country um, and has made tens of millions, millions of, of dollars, dollars for yeah. his work he, it's also the kind of thing where and I'm not even thinking of him as the biggest offender of this the guys who have been a sports columnist for decades too long yeah. where there's just not that much you can write about every week or every few days or whatever yeah so by the end you're just you're writing in that bill plashke style of like oh, a man. lot of line breaks oh you know? man some of bill plashke stuff there at the end was like unreal i wish i could the dodgers have it had a decision to make new paragraph resign new paragraph <laughs> or let him go <laughs> you know, and God. so on for the entire article, you know? Like, you got to respect that. I get it, you know? If only. Well, Bill okay. Simmons uh, Bill Simmons is coming up in the chat. Well, he's on a different... Uh, I, I was going to say, one nice thing I can say about those guys is they're not Bill Simmons, you know? Uh, okay, I found an yeah. article about Bill O'Reilly, and it, like, listed a bunch of the books he had written, and I thought that the names of the books were jokes. Wait, did you say do Bill O'Reilly? fake on these? Did you say, I mean, did you say this Bill is or Rick Riley? Real or fake. Well, like I, I, I don't, I don't. Th okay, so who's your caddy? Okay. Shanks for nothing. <laughs> wait, 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 isn't who's your caddy like a movie with Method Man? Am I wrong on this? No, I, I think it is. Yeah. I'm sorry. Please continue. Uh, okay. Let me see here. Uh, see, I can't. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I need a flashlight. I can't see anything. Use your phone. Oh, it's Cedric the Entertainer, I think, yeah. Okay. Okay, here, here's his bibliography. Uh, Cedric the Entertainer wait. in Who's Your Caddy? Who's Cedric your the caddy? Entertainer and Big Boy. Oh, wow. my God. Oh, and Thanks. Jeffrey Thanks and enough. Jeffrey Jones. Who, oh, boy? Well, so, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? We don't need to get into it. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Please continue, Stefan. Okay, saying. no, some of, some of these are joke titles, I, I think. But who's who's your caddy and Shanks for nothing are real? Uh, Commander and Cheat. Okay. Uh, hate mail from cheerleaders and other adventures from the life of Riley. Oh, the life of Riley was like the name of his column. Right? Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I remember during the the Vancouver Olympics, he he was up here writing for ESPN, uh, and he wrote an article about Vancouver. And, uh, and people were, like, very mad at him. Oh, yeah, because... Damn, did a sports columnist write about a city he didn't know anything about? <laughs> That's the thing, is it's not just sports writers who run out of stuff to say and didn't have anything to say to begin with um, and are increasingly overpaid and uninterested in what was going on. But it's like, they also don't and never did report any news whatsoever. Like, like Peter mm -hmm. King maybe being an example of a guy who for all of his faults and there are plenty does actually go and talk to people about what's happening in the world and whether that's yeah. valuable or not i guess is up to you but these guys do, i mean they just do they just sit they just sit in their house and then just say whatever which is what i do and that's fine and it's actually good when i do it but i, I remember michael wilbon complaining about that years ago like oh man these young guys they don't read the you know paper columnists anymore yeah and it's like yeah, because they read you once. <laughs> yeah, and they, they got like, it. Oh my god, you know. Yeah. Um, where he would be another example of that. And then the flip side is uh, someone who's kind of a clown, like Stephen A. He actually was an NBA reporter who was really good like that, you know. Yeah. So. I don't know. <laughs> Fart ever is suspicious again. 
Well, <laughs> well, he is sharing conspiracy <laughs> theories now that Rick Riley was embedded with the <laughs> Contras in Nicaragua. That is suspicious, to be fair. You know, that's so funny. What's what is PTI like right now, McCain? Is it exactly the same as it was ten years ago? Is it ago? still going? Is it really still going? I feel like I've seen it on a TV when I'm like walking past a place with a TV on. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it was. They had Max Kellerman in there, right? No. And I, yeah, I think they. Wait. <laughs> Mars, that's so good. <laughs> oh my um, God. Rick Riley, has, no. Rick Riley has some really uh, bad posts also here. First, I'm sorry. Max Kellerman was the. Replace oh. Bayless on first take, right? Um, yes. Yes. Then I think the he would. And well, pardon the interruption was Wilbon and uh, Kornheiser, right? Yes. And then Simmons was. Is, Simmons came on and did that a few times. Surely that is not still on, right? PTI is still on. That's what he was saying. Yeah. That is. <laughs> that is fucking nuts. Isn't that That's crazy? crazy. <laughs> Didn't we watch? Am I am I crazy? Did we watch that in high school? PTI? Uh, yeah. I, that, I, I, I watched it in high school. It was great. I'm thinking like early 2000s. Andy, welcome back. 40 months. At least Around the Horn I know has changed because I checked in after like all of the guys who you would know on there were jettisoned for whatever reason. For sexual harassment. Like yeah, uh, yeah, maybe more was, than one of them. Maybe I be, that was I believe, it. Like, you know. I think they just wanted to who? do other things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't have to do with Woody Page's three lawsuits. Yeah. That, uh... Oh boy, was it was always interesting to see the backgrounds of those guys change from Denver Post to like mm -hmm. Contra Costa Times to like <laughs> getting well, the, the WoodyPage.com. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Someone in the chat is saying Jerry Mariotti is still on Around the Horn. That is not. That, that cannot, cannot be the case. That cannot no. be true, right? I'm stop fucking with me for a second. No. <laughs> that is not true. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, wow. Okay. Did, he got God. hired by AOL, right? All right. Let's let's trace the Jay Mariotti. Let's see. Uh, thing. He, I believe, as I recall, he was vitriolic the last time I read anything. He was fucking from him. horrible. What he did was he quit the Chicago Sun Times and shat on it on the way out and said, I'm going to be a huge, you know, big deal. Right. Went to AOL, uh, stalked his girlfriend. Yeah. I have, okay. I, I have the most recent Jay Mariotti thing from, from his oh, Wikipedia. Can the I last... just say one thing on that? Yes, Jay yes. Mariotti releases a podcast uh, on his Twitter account where it goes zero faves, zero retweets for months. <laughs> That yes, is staggering. That's, that's what I was gonna. That's the last. The, the last line on his on his Wikipedia uh, article is: In December 2016, Mariotti started a podcast called Unmuted with his former Around the Horn panelist Woody Page. Oh my God! <laughs> and, and then one more line after that: Mariotti continues to host the show, although Page is no longer a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds horrible. We gotta listen to that. <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so funny to imagine there was a superior version that had Woody Page involved. God, I miss the and Woody Page era. Since then. <laughs> Andy, that is a really good KD post just now. Skip Bayless says the best player on the planet was added again tonight in Brooklyn, going assassin in overtime for the COVID rock Nets. Nothing like Kevin Durant. You watch Braun, so it's like a it's like a pro KD post. Yeah, and, of course. And KD. Yeah, Katie quote tweeted it and said, I really don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, in a way, even that's a problem just because giving him anything is bad. Yeah, sure. But if you're going to that's just so kick funny. him in the fucking face. He emptied you know. the clip, yeah. Man, I love that. Okay. Shark butt, welcome back. Yeah. Three years. Dark, dark side. What it do, man? Yeah, never met and says Skip knows what he's doing. That's the sad truth. Yeah. It's true. It's true. But I don't think anyone watches that fucking show, right? My impression I mean, is, is that they don't, but I... But is it I think on... people just post, like, clips of it on Twitter, right? That's what I'm saying. It, it, does anyone yeah. watch anything? That's the broader context for these fucking shows. 
Yeah. Can I say I I love Stephen A. Smith, but I only know him through quips I see of him on Twitter. Right. I, I kind of came around on him. He's a little so bit. funny. He's really funny. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I just I think maybe. But me, uh, I, again, I just see I just see the quips of him being funny. So I sorry. don't. I haven't seen his Big, other. Big Hal says I watch Below Deck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's his contribution. <laughs> <laughs> That is cool, Big Howl. That is very cool. Hey, by the way, shout out to Big Howl. Excellent Grinch song today on the Fast Track Patreon page. If you're not subscribed over there, go do it. Big Howl does some great work there. And the Grinch was, uh, you know what, surprisingly down to earth, I thought, on today's episode. And very funny. <laughs> yeah. Who is uh, who is Skip's co-host? Um, hey, thanks for the sub. I, I can't it was Shannon Sharp, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, who I also kind of like. Now he's Shannon Sharp. Well, again, I, all I see of Shannon Sharp is when someone posts a clip of him clowning on Skip Bayless, and it's fucking hilarious. It is pretty funny. Right. Not enough to get me to watch the show, but no, never. No. But he always, he's always like, he's always like smoking a cigar in the studio. Pretty good. Like, yeah, good. A lot bit. of great gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Do you remember when Richard Sherman went on uh, first take? Yeah, he no, just like Bayless. obliterated him, right? He said, "I'm better than you." I think more than once. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. Yeah. Jesse, I gotta right. be pissed, but uh, why don't you talk about the game for a little bit? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? God. So uh, now that he's off, what's my start date? I'm replacing Stefan. <laughs> Having limited time off, apparently. <laughs> he's he's taking a personal leave. <laughs> wink. And uh, <laughs> when we come back from the holidays, <laughs> it's gonna be me and Jalen Rose joining the Go Off Kings. Oh my God, Jalen Rose just got divorced. You see that? Yeah, his wife was uh, quite a babe, huh? Yep. Uh, am I gonna get am I gonna get the married guy in trouble here? Um, I don't know. What was her personality like, Dan? That's what I'm most. That's what I have. My number one thing is. No, well, I don't uh, compare women based off qualities like personality. To me, they're all great. So. Hey, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, saved by the bell. Yeah. Right, don't watch it though. Uh, no matter what other people say. Um, <laughs> Holy lord. How do I secure alpha? I'm trying. That was a trick to find out uh, how many women watch the show, and the answer is uh, three. Yeah, I think we had about three. Pretty good, actually. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cash Gordon says, remember when Dan co-hosted YKS? No. Jesse just <laughs> creamed me. Yeah. No, I don't, it'll actually. Never, it'll never happen again, yeah. Did I do that? I really don't remember. I don't think I ever did that. It's a huge mistake, yeah. Okay, well, you're not really... An you're saying it's bad, but you're not saying if it happens. I don't remember. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you yeah, what you we don't did remember anything last week. That. Yeah, yeah. That's a real hey, are thing. We having, are we uh, doing Jessuary? Yeah. But it's in February. Are you fucking for real? Yes. Jessuary is in February. You guys see Kiki's bow tie? Who cares? Shut up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is pretty cute. <laughs> that is cute. I, I wanted to just shit on you, but it's it's pretty cute. It's so cute. It's great. And she likes it, too. I'd love to shit on you. <laughs> when it comes to the bedroom, I do prefer being shit on by Jesse. Yep. <laughs> I, I can't figure out how to do this. I'm so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I'm stupid as fuck, Dan. Are you are you still in the tutorial? No, I'm playing a I'm playing a game. I just can't. Okay. I'm I'm able to turn the light switch on and off, but I haven't really progressed beyond that. <laughs> is that a big part of the game? It is not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to secure alpha, but I don't know how. Let me let me see if I can help. Yeah, you probably can. Uh, what if you click on the table there? What if I click on the table? 
It could work, right? If I click on the table, I'll shoot it. Okay. Does that help? Uh, some guy said, what's that noise? But I don't know if it was me or some other guy. <laughs> oh, do you, do you think it was something other than the uh, gunshots you fired into the table well, that made him say that? I know what the noise was. I'm just, I don't know what that guy's talking about. He's talking about the, you shot the table. Wait, that says clobber. You, you what, does, what does clobber mean? Oh, that's a, that's one of the guys. His name is clobber. It's okay to be named clobber. Clobber is the name of the creator, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I, maybe there's another guy. That's why everyone's like, oh... Everyone's going crazy. Landfill, I shot the table, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Landfill, you are the winner of Manscapes uh post of the day. Congratulations. Um Jesse is gonna go to your house and shave your, your balls for you. <laughs> so congratulations <laughs> on winning that. That's Julie, really I did cool. see you had a question about Pierre McGuire, I believe. Uh he's uh I mean he sucks. He's working for an NHL team now, which is so insane. I guess I'm trying to think what the equivalent of that would be in other sports. Um, Pierre Maguire, I think, was on NHL and NBC as well. Uh, and I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Can someone in the chat say who like the NFL reporter equivalent? Like he's like Chris Berman, maybe. Maybe oh, if Chris Lord. Berman went to no, go work it, for the Bills. Are we talking like a sideline guy or what? He was like a he was like a, a color commentator. And like so a he's, studio, he's a got studio your analyst. Time that's gonna do all the color over the clips. Yeah, and I mean he he was so so bad. Um, John, yeah, I guess Gruden, but Gruden like and I, well, Gruden Pierre Maguire was, was pretty bad. Pierre Maguire was like a coach or a GM of like Hartford in like the '90s, I think too. So he did have some experience from from that. But he, I mean, he sucked so bad. And now he's he's like an assistant GM for the Ottawa Senators. So it, it would be like, I mean, I guess Gruden, you know, got but a job Gruden again. Gruden was a little more accomplished in his career. He was, he was more accomplished, yeah. Maguire um, was a bad coach is the thing. So I, I know it's also hockey. It reminds me more of like maybe Don Cherry. He's, he's kind con- yeah, he, he's a little more serious, I, know, I think, than Don yeah, Cherry. I don't know but, as much about hockey, but like he was like a fake, right? Like he was. Don Cherry was an NHL coach as well, and he was quite bad. Right. Um, he was kind of. Yeah, I think, I think he had. I think he had one good year. I, th- I think he maybe did win Coach of the Year one year, but he was horrible every other, mm-hmm. uh, every other year. Um, I'm, yeah. I mean, oh, he classic Mox is Joe Rogan for the UFC. I hmm. think that's that's fairly close. I think so. It would be like if Joe Rogan became like a UFC coach, I guess. Sorry, Dipshit says, I think the Bears are in talks to hire Tony Saragusa. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still around? I know. Uh, who, no. Who's the other impression? Who's the guy who does the impression? Tony Saragusa <laughs> was not the impression guy. No, he wasn't the impression guy, but but he I put him on the same no. kind of pedestal as... No, um, the Bears are in talks to hire uh, Frank uh, Caliendo as head coach. That's who I think. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel like is Frank Caliendo like a conservative guy, or is he just kind of stuck doing comedy no, shows I, in I conservative towns? I recall him towns. being conservative. I don't remember okay. what makes me think that, but um, yeah. But now it's um, it's it's not him anymore. It's uh, I forget this guy's name every single Rob time. Rob Riggle. It's Rob Riggle, isn't it? Rob Riggle. That is right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's all over the place there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh well. Oh, here's an article when when Pierre Maguire got fired. I'm stuck in this, this dark the room. Coach. I cannot get out of this room to save my life. Okay, this is this is the opening. The this is the opening of the uh, the article about Pierre Maguire being fired by the Hartford Whalers as coach. With one brush of his newly recovered powers Thursday, GM Paul Holmgren did more to unify the Whalers than anybody in Ta-da. recent team history. Holmgren <laughs> fired yeah, coach Pierre Maguire after six months. It was more than a great idea. It was justice. In 15 years of covering the NHL, we had never seen a coach so universally disrespected and disliked within his own organization. Wow, that's so good. Is that good? Yeah, that's oh cool. I don't know what that's like, but uh, good luck. You know. Oh my God, that's so good. Yeah. So he was. Oh, so he was a young head coach. He was a co- He was 32 years old when he was coaching the Whalers. Damn. And everyone just fucking hated him. Who's the Rams coach like that where he looks like somebody's younger brother? Sean McVay. That's it, yeah. Yeah. 
but he seems good. He seems like a good coach. I mean, he so. seems, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. They just won uh, last night, right? They did, yeah. Yeah. I'm wow, an incredible post in here. McGuire would taunt hey, the other team. The this is Al B19. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> saying he couldn't believe the opposing coach was allowing him oh. certain line matchups. Man, you were cruising for a bruising when you do that. That's so funny. Oh, my God. I didn't realize he was that much of a, a prick. Yeah. I can't see anything. Rod Zervin, yeah, my allergies have been really bad recently. I don't know what it is. Oh, here we go. No, I want to be clear. I'm not saying Sean McVay is bad. Quite the opposite. I'm just saying he was a he's a he's a young he's coach. The, was good, definitely yeah. the youngest NFL coach, right? I th yeah, I think so. Abolish nice thirty months. Welcome back. How many first round picks would Dan give to trade Matt Nagy for Sean McVay? <laughs> I thought you said John Benet, as in John Benet Ramsey, <laughs> and uh, I am willing to entertain that trade. Uh, so just to give you some idea. You know? <laughs> Boy, okay, they... the, the okay, the, yes, the Canucks are down three nothing after one and are getting absolutely dummied. But in fairness, they all have COVID, and one of their players just left the game with COVID. So maybe they should not have played this game. <laughs> you guys see um, really stupid. Walt Walt Clyde Frazier is on the COVID protocol. Yeah, the, uh, I see that. That would that would not, man. I grew up watching that guy yep. say, you know, swoop. How old is he? He's got to be, God, he's got to be old because he played in like, like the '60s, the, right? Really long time ago. Yeah, I'm gonna say he could be close to 80 right now. Let's see. He's an older gentleman, I believe. Uh, also, the 76. There you go. Um, also, uh, the model on several of the Just for Men. Uh, that's, that's true. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I don't believe they've Wait, updated those commercials in a very long time. Didn't he do? Didn't he do the ads with Keith Hernandez as well? What? Was that? Was that? Was that Walt Frazier? I'm not saying no, but I'm trying to think what it would have been for. Was it Just for Men? I think it was just for men, and they were doing like commentary. Yeah, they were yes. doing commentary Your on like. Your uh, beard is weird. The guy with gray hair would would try and pick up a woman at a bar, and they'd be like, "Oh, rejected," you yeah. know, or whatever. And then, um, right. the, he would have he would dye his hair with just for men, and then he would right. uh, go have sex with a lady or whatever. Right. And, and then Walt Fla Frazier and uh, and. Uh, Keith Hernandez would be in the bedroom watching them having sex. Yeah, he would He would keep doing the color commentary. Swoops to the hoop. <laughs> boom goes the dynamite. You know, that, that kind of stuff. The oh guy's boy. coming. He's not. Yeah, that's when he's coming. Him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he blasted some looks, nuts out. Looks like he's going downtown. Yep. You know what that means. Yeah. Yep. Our mission is to put a stop to Dishing and swishing. Right. Yeah. That was another, you know. Yeah. Man, that was my bounding and astounding. Really kind of amazing that <laughs> they let him keep doing the color commentary. But, uh, <laughs> I'm glad they did. Okay, Jesse, so you beat that level. No, I died. No, oh, what is this then? I went I went to do another training because I couldn't. I couldn't oh, okay. Jesse's uh, character has left being a mercenary to do construction. That's what he's doing now. That's pretty much what happened, yeah. Did you guys ever play the, uh, the 3DO Army Men games? Yeah. Yeah, those were a lot of fun. Those were great. Those were super fun. Yeah. Do you remember um uh do you remember when you played the um games? Um oh, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> now, uh Rob, welcome back to the show and <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we look. We love Chris Farley. Or yeah, Rob RIP well. Chris Farley. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, I'm I'm reading into the Canucks game right now. And I'm not like, even going to count this. I as don't a chug. know why are they still playing the game. Didn't this happen in uh, was it the Dodgers game where they they won the World Series and they all had COVID on the field? Well, not all of them, but afterwards they did. Um, oh, okay. I don't remember because the dot. Remember the one Dodger they pulled off the field. The just yeah, Justin Tucker. Justin yeah. Tucker. Justin, Justin then, Turner. No, Justin Tucker's the kicker. Justin Turner. Yeah. Justin Turner. That's it. And um, 
he went back on without a mask and was taking photos next to the guy who had cancer. Oh my god! Like what a <laughs> fucking asshole! Well, man. that's that's his belief. <sighs> But yeah, the Canucks, the Canucks Johnny, literally I just follow pulled, baseball. I don't know who pulled a player out of the game for like mid game with COVID. Right. Mid, yeah, it was like, very dramatic. It was like a movie or something. Oh my god, this is insane. My life a movie. I mean, they're all they're all double vaxxed. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them have booster shots. I'm sure they'll be fine. But it's like, what are you doing here? Although I guess yeah, it's Tucker Pullman. They pulled out of the game, so that probably actually helps them on the whole. But oh my god, they pulled out Tucker Pullman. Tucker Pullman. That's his name. Yeah, uh, they they pulled him out. Um, yeah, okay. What do we got here after he did a cannonball. So, <laughs> tuck in, in tuck the, pool, the legs, yeah. pull him in. That actually makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, okay. You're you're okay. Yeah. I don't think Dan meant the tuck part, but I do think he meant the pool man part. You knew that That's pool right. you pool and you got that part, but you didn't think tuck legs. That was just a bonus. Yeah. That was that was just a fun Easter egg. Yeah. Because it's like that's like the main thing you do in the pool. What's number two? The uh, can opener. You ever do that one? Do you think that's number two though? I, I would that's say the, number. Those are the only two I know. So that you have the cannonball, then you have the. Uh, what about the, um, the can opener? What about you have to jump off a, a pretty high dive for this, but where you just put your arms at your side and try and go in like, you know what I mean, like without making any splash at all. Yeah. With like Olympic diving, but you need a name. No, for but you're it. you're going like you're going like feet first. The I, pencil, like, pencil yeah. is what I heard. Yeah, pencil. Yeah, his wingliness. Is, is that is mind. that referring to your penis after you get out of the pool? Okay, it was my called penis Jerry. Like the penis. It was called Jerry. My, my penis looks like <laughs> the, the Grinch's penis. Can we hear your George again? It was called was Jerry. George. <laughs> oh, I gotta eat a donut out of the trash, Jerry. <laughs> it was an eclair. <laughs> Eclairs are donuts, Jerry. Also, it wasn't Jerry who walked in on him and saw his Jerry, get out of it here. Sounds, it sounds like Marge. What? That's just Marge. <laughs> Farthammer says, JF George sounds like a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever see a cockatoo? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. get him on the stream, huh? That would actually be really cool, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what was that game called, Jesse? Thunder Tier 1. Thunder Tier 1 is the name of that one, Stefan. What else is in the That's news? Right. Phil says, get Fart Hammer on the stream. No, let's not no, go nuts here. We will continue monitoring him, though. A suspicious user such as that? I think not. How do you do that? I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how you, how you monitor someone. How did you do that? Ask the U.S. government. Okay, I... Hold on. Ask the U.S. government. Okay. That's all right. That's um, well... <laughs> oh, I see. There's a little, there's a little flag. Logan Broom knows Dan, can you, can, you, uh, can you just post something in the chat really quick? Um, sure. In, in the Twitch chat? Okay. Just waiting. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so you can tie me out. <laughs> no, time. I didn't. KV Fella did, but... Wow, you know, you're a real lightning rod for controversy like that, Dan. I mean, stuff's going to happen to you. Okay, so, you've, you've, been, you've been untimed out. Go ahead and post again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. And you've been timed out. Sorry, Dan. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to oh, remove... I... I'm no longer monitoring you, Dan. Hmm. Okay. Let me, let me put that to the test. Hang on. Hey, Mark NSA... McGurnis, thank you for the gift sub to NSA official. Welcome. 61 gift subs. Thank you, Marge. So what happens if I... Because right. there's, there, there's a monitor option, and there is a, um, there's a restrict option. Can I... Dan, are you okay with me testing out the restrict option on you? Yeah, oh, that sounds great. Why are you doing this? I just want to see what happens. Okay, All now right, can you try and post right. something? Okay. You're an obnoxious little putz. You know that? <laughs> yeah, I know. It rocks. Okay. Did that yeah. show up? Did, did everyone see Dan's post? Is it showing up? Where do you see Dan's <laughs> post? 
Okay, well, I don't know what restricting you did, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop monitoring you. I don't know where we left off here, but I do we do owe a little bit of time on this. You hate yes, sleep, we do. my darling. Oh, Get in there, and you'll float away and die. We're doing two for one discounts from Gravity Shoes for the two ones. I didn't agree to this. Sick size fourteen and two hundred kg, my man. What the? No tea. Here you go, sir. I tell you guys, I saw a. Uh... And how about the rest of you cheeky monkeys? We're not monkeys! You saw what? A board ape yacht club hoodie in the wild. That sucks so bad. Oh. But hey look, our NFTs look good. Look at those. Yeah, them are cool. Thank you to uh, whoever Do you see a fucking off. tail on my ass? Oh. oh. Caesar! What the fuck, little guy? Yeah, Alas, chill. poor Thanks York. Welcome, I knew him, Indian Horatio, religion. a fellow of infinite jest. You sure this I is think we kid? did see this well, part. he's definitely my kid. I think this is where we end. Oh, the sound on that was really good. All right, you know we are going to party hard, man. Where the girls them there? Oh, here we are going. Oh, sh hey, what is this, man? Bomba clad, man. Who them? Let me help me out. Me no know you. Move your bomba clad, man. There are powerful forces at play here that are beyond all of our control. What the fuck? That's uh, Jesse's George impression. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, What's happening okay, out there? Okay, we can pause it now. Huh? We can pause it now, Jesse. I was just gonna finish it. Oh my god. What? I mean, there's not that much time left. <laughs> How much time is left? There's like 20 seconds left. There is at least four apes out there, mi amor. No way. We cannot let them all in. Man, really surely. Lean and heavy on but the ethnic, if we do, uh, accents, they huh? can hang around. <laughs> Get it? You kidding, mate? Here, give me that. Hey, neighbors. Who the hell are you? This is Demi, right? <laughs> this is. Uh, so two chains produced this, right, Jesse? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, he's maybe an executive oh, uh, uh, producer. Platinum sponsor, Wunkly. Right. Okay, they got Wunkly. Wunkly on the track, yeah. Oh. I'm shocked to learn this had writers. You gotta look those guys up. I wanna link up with these guys. Let's see. Let's just rap, you know? Yeah, seriously. Oh my god, man. That sucks so bad. There were, okay, Whoa. there were parts of it that were good. What okay. are you talking about? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I thought there were a few things that were funny. So that's enough uh, garbage. Um, what do we do? Uh, what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, We're sending out a huge I apology to Julian um, and all of the people who just joined the stream because now, we, now we're turning our computers off. Julian wants to turn his computers off. Now we want to turn our computers off. We're all turning our computers off and going to bed. Um, but thank you, Julian, for the raid. Thank you, Julian. For the I got raid. some stuff going on still. And I think uh, I think okay. I think Julian just recently celebrated a birthday as well. So we're sort of. Birthday, happy birthday, birthday Julian. Hey, uh, Julian, happy birthday. Don't ever tell anyone here uh, that it's your birthday. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be nice. We'll be nice. We'll be nice to whoever tells us about their birthday. Uh, the Austin Powers Matrix stream will be happening in January. Uh, the Avatar 3 oh, stream. Thanks for the update. My fucking idea. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm saying it because you're here. And then the Avatar 3 stream will be uh, the end of December. Jesse? What? <laughs> Who cares? It makes it makes no difference. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jeez. All right. We'll be back tomorrow. Right? I don't know. You keep acting like this. What are you guys doing tomorrow? Uh, I was gonna um jack my cock off live on the stream on Twitch. Wow, that sounds Must really be a good. Short stream. Thank you for noticing. Toilet, open up your mouth and I'll piss in it. <laughs> <laughs>